So as titled by People Can Fly Themselves, this is Tuesday's News. And while they speak about a patch that's coming this week to fix an issue that's been here for weeks, putting people off playing even further and it's come to a stage where most of the community now just feel this is unacceptable. Today we discuss this even further. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So Tuesday's news is here guys and while it's just like what we're used to it's people can fly literally copy and pasting the same details about the same fixes for the same bugs we have had for weeks. This is no different and it's gotten to a stage now where even the most patient people, the most patient players like myself are getting quite peed off at the way in which they handle problems with this game. Now I made a video yesterday asking the question of, is Outriders dead? I've seen many of the comments on that video stating the game isn't dead but it is dying, which is something I agree on. Now in that video I pointed out the fact I believe People Can Fly might be within the mindset of just getting the game fixed in a state of where it's fixed and just leaving it to be that one and done game most people thought it would be prior to release. And the way they handle and saw issues come across this way too. The damage mitigation bug has been here since the last update, which was, well, the last major update, which I believe was April 30th, was it? Guys, this is three weeks back. So this bug literally makes the game for a lot of players unplayable. You basically encounter an issue where enemies seemingly one shot you out of nowhere. And they said, Right now the only way to fix the issue is to in reality either take off your armour and reapply it or quit out the game and load back in. So every time you encounter a scenario where it seems as though your armour isn't really helping or enemies are hitting you a lot harder, you have to quit out the game or take your armour off and pull it back on. Now in a normal night of me playing um, expeditions, playing with my pals, we are doing this literally 20 times. It just isn't acceptable. A bug like this should have been sorted ages ago. And I mean, I don't want to compare here, but if this was Bungie, which I know is a much bigger studio, but even still, this would have been sorted within a few days max. Yes, people can fly a much smaller company, but at the end of the day, we are paying customers. We purchase this game. This kind of thing shouldn't be left for weeks while players suffer. And let's not lie to ourselves yet, this isn't the first time they have done this, they did the same with the restoration glitch, it took a whole month to be fixed, and to be honest it still isn't fixed. They just go silent, they make people's blood boil, then they tweet out or drop a reddit post which is basically a copy and paste of the week before's. Now this in my opinion isn't the mentality of a company who wants the best for its player base, based on keeping them playing and happy for the future. This is the mentality of a company who wants the game just to be flawless so they can move on from it. It's like yeah, we've made our money, we will take our time in fixing these things, not test patches properly and just drop them in hope they fix more problems than they cause. And this is what they seemingly do with every single patch. And it's what they are seemingly going to do until the game is in a state where it's playable for the few remaining people playing. I mean guys, it's just how it all comes across to me. I am an Outriders ambassador, I'm a part of a private discord, and people they are just as silent within that discord. I mean I don't know the plan for the future of this game, but I won't lie to you, if there is one, they are going about it entirely the wrong way, they are killing their own game here, but that's just my two cents. Now the Tuesday's news for people interested just states that patch is coming this Thursday. If you want to see details on it, you'll see them on screen now. But yeah guys, tell me your thoughts on this whole situation. I mean I don't want to seem negative when it comes to you Outriders, as it's a game that had real promise. But they make it so hard to be optimistic, they make it so hard for us to enjoy the game, and they definitely make it super hard for us content creators to keep plugging this game on a positive basis. But yeah, that is just my opinion guys. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.